At Monday night's school board meeting, Bishop School Superintendent Katie Coker spoke in front of an extremely divided and opinionated audience about the mask mandate for this upcoming school year. You know me, my name is Katie Coker. I'm the superintendent here and happy that so many of you showed up today in support of our students in every way um, possible. That means to each and every one of you. So just know that um, that's appreciated. On behalf of the board here, I know we received um, who knows how many emails um, from all sides of this issue and um, most really came from the heart that we're trying to do what's best for students. Um, so I hoped to begin here with an informational presentation given the public health guidance that's been given to me as the superintendent of this district and what that would be looking like um, here in our schools um, to start the school year. Some examples of the layered strategies we have in place in our district. Uh, we will be directing all students and staff to screen for symptoms prior to coming to school and to stay home if sick. Daily cleaning on campuses, masks worn indoors and on um, school district transportation. We'll be utilizing outdoor areas as much as feasible, which we have a great deal of, lucky for us in Bishop. We'll be encouraging vaccinations for eligible individuals who choose to do so. Providing hand sanitizer, using our air purifiers, we're continuing to upgrade our ventilation systems at all sites. We'll have in-house COVID rapid testing for any school-based close contacts, which is provided for free thanks to our um, proactive partnership with public health earlier last spring. Providing independent study for any quarantine students and um, continuing our coordination with public health for close contact tracing. So per the public health guidance and our, our local office, um, and in consult with our legal counsel, school districts cannot decide if they enforce the mask policy, but how. The CDPH has removed physical distancing requirements, so many of you re may remember the three to six foot guidelines that we were enforcing all throughout last year. Um, so those all go away next year. Outdoors, face coverings are entirely optional and will not be mandated, so no enforcement is needed in an outdoor setting. Indoors, um, TK through 12th grade students would be required to wear face coverings, including staff, if in the presence of any students. The enforcement of wearing face coverings by students and staff is a local school district responsibility. Um, face coverings would also be required um, in any district transport, so school buses or district vans. In terms of um, the enforcement of a protocol, students would be provided with opportunities um, to be outside of their classrooms to remove their masks throughout the day. Students without masks will be provided with a mask to wear indoors. And anyone experiencing any discomfort um, would be required or, or given a break and then um, an opportunity to use a face shield rather than a mask if that's more comfortable. To the extent possible, physical distancing will be maximized um, while unmasked during uh, eating and drinking. So breakfast and lunch, which is free for all students next year. Outdoor spaces will be utilized to the degree we can and students will not be required to wear a face covering outdoors, so that includes recess and PE. When indoors, students without a face covering would be requested to put one on, and if a student declined to wear a mask, a face shield would be given as an option. Um, students could work outside independently while the administration could contact a parent or guardian on next steps. For the mask mandate, we would have to ask a student to go home if they were not wearing a mask indoors. So an independent, op op independent study option would be provided for that student. The modified quarantine procedures are really important to take note of. Um, the universal masking in schools will allow us to stay open. We would no longer need to cohort quarantine, which means that if there were a close contact in a classroom setting, we would no longer have to ask that entire classroom to stay home in quarantine for seven to 10 days. So what would that look like? If we had a universal masking policy and there was a student or adult in the classroom who had tested positive for COVID, if any student or staff in that classroom was a close contact but asymptomatic, they could continue to remain at school. They would continue to appropriately mask and we would offer twice a week in-house rapid COVID testing to continue to stay in school. Families would have the option to have their students stay home on an independent study contract if they did not want to participate in the twice weekly rapid COVID testing. So that would be a parent choice. So that is the official statement from Bishop Schools on the masking policy implemented by the state. There were multiple arguments from the crowd, but as this was a school board meeting and not a debate, 
Comments were heard, but did not affect the outcome of the board meeting. My opinion is, just be thankful the kids can actually go to school this year and aren't forced to quarantine at home. But, as a parent, it is your right to homeschool your kids if you would rather they do not wear a mask. See SierraWave.net for more info in coming days.